Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Saint JJ. Today we're coming back with a video basically talking about this MXC and of course how can you literally mine Bitcoin without high electricity. So we know Bitcoin mining as um, basically a monster energy consumption type of devices that will basically absorb lots of energy like people are paying bills from $100 to even $300 or even like I don't know $1000 depending on which location you are at and of course how much is your kilowatt per hour. So over here on this video we are gonna basically explore into other options to mine Bitcoin and of course over here this is the less energy efficient uh, consumption way for you to basically mine Bitcoin and of course in this video itself I'm gonna basically do a disclaimer am I affiliated with this MXC uh, company itself not I am not affiliated with MXC but I am affiliated with their sister company the Match X Pro based, I mean the Match X company basically who are selling these devices to basically mine the MXC and of course on top of that they are basically introducing to uh, introducing Bitcoin mining into their device and ecosystem so it is gonna be interesting how it's gonna work and of course how much can you make from it literally because on this video itself I'm just gonna do some personal history so I will say disclaimer itself if you want to support the channel feel free to use the links down below and of course if you buy the, the Match X uh, the M2 Pro Miner itself you are receiving like a 50 euros off if you use the promo code down below and right now we're gonna go into some personal history of mine with the MXC mining so we here for those who are new to the channel itself, I have done a playlist basically talking about my MXC Match X M2 Pro Miner, basically the journey itself. So we here I basically explained to you what is the MX2, uh, what is this device itself. I did an unboxing and after that over here, I also basically did an update saying like how much have I made by doing 7 days by doing nothing and of course over here this is the recent one and of course it's the update of how much have I generated through this device in 3 months and of course it is the bear market now and is my earnings being affected so over here I would say the history itself for M for the MXC mining itself it is basically known to basically generate from $10 to $15 per day and after that from there it is credited to you in the MXC token and of course over here we can see that the MXC price itself has been tanking tanking with all the cryptocurrency out there three months itself uh, three months ago at the, at the peak itself it is at around 12 cents and after that uh, right now it is basically back uh, dropped by half of it basically now it's six cents so what do what does this mean basically for those who are already mining on this itself you will receive more MXC token which eventually in I do not know the near future or the further future itself maybe six month eight month or even i don't know four years later when the bull market is back again everything is gonna rise again and eventually your mxc is gonna uh, your tokens itself whatever you're hodling right now is going to basically be worth more than that because every day itself they're crediting um from ten dollars all the way to fifteen dollars in mxc and of course i would say the token counts itself whatever you accumulated is a good thing that you hold if let's say you believe in the project or something like that and of course eventually when the price reaches a favorable like price like maybe 12 back to 12 cent or even 10 cent uh you will basically make double of your money because the token that you held is basically at six cents credited to you and right now it is at 12 cents it is a double simple logic and over here we're going to talk about what is this mxc M2 Pro Miner all about for those who are starters. So we here the MXC itself is the foundation that is uh, ecosystem rele uh, relevant to basically like Helium Miner, the basically the Loran One ecosystem. They are basically doing some IoT project as well, and of course they are selling the Match X, the M2 Pro Miner itself, or here the king of this uh, miner itself, this multi pro token miner, which claims to basically mine MXC token with their native token, some data token itself, and of course Polkadot is coming soon, and Bitcoin itself is gonna launch in two days and of course over here I'm gonna explain to you how do you mine Bitcoin without ASIC using this device and of course over here we can see that the Max, uh, the MXC foundation itself these are the devices the match to the M2 Pro Miner that is being deployed worldwide and of course you can see these are the data being accumulated how many super nodes that are there and after that many many more other details and I would say the website itself has been revamped and of course they have came out with their new name slash the token itself which is uh, what is that called the long name itself MXC it is basically, I believe, it is the meta something token. And over here with this device itself, you can generate some MXC token and of course mine other cryptocurrency itself, but there's a catch to it. I'm going to explain to you later. So over here, the project itself is still relatively new comparing it with Helium Miner itself. It is not expanding as fast, I would say. And of course, it is not having like tons of partnership all around the world with like whatever Helium is doing. Basically, Helium has partnership with... Uh, lots of company like even uh, those IoT company those big one the big names like uh, Azura or something basically from Microsoft and after that over here for Mac 
the for this MXC itself, it is still building and of course slowly growing. And of course, I believe that this project might have something behind it because I mean like they came up with a, pro, a product to basically mine the token which I say that they, this device itself has an infrastructure behind it and of course the devices that people own itself is the Match X token uh, the Match X M2 Pro itself this device over here uh, I would say is quite big to be honest and after that it's basically like maybe one 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 arm length or something like that and the device is something that you can expect if you want to watch you can watch the unboxing video and after that over there i would say i have already done a comparison in the, in the size or whatsoever so for the miner itself from my knowledge you can basically put it in your cupboard or basically near the window if you want to because as of now the Laurent one ecosystem itself i would say is not really working uh, I mean like it's working but of course as of now there is no penalty like if you need to witness people whatsoever like the helium, uh, helium level itself there's nothing about that basically everything it is still on beta slash the alpha version I would say and after that basically right now you can accumulate this MXC token just by mining just by buying the device and after they plug it in receive like 10 to 15 dollars daily and of course for the project itself I would say it is slightly centralized if you have watched the previous video you will understand what I mean so I don't want to explain everything about that if you want to watch the video and of course right now we're gonna talk about how can you mine Bitcoin without the ASIC miner so we hear how do you mine Bitcoin without ASIC miner so previously if you research about how to mine Bitcoin they're telling you oh you can use a computer to mine Bitcoin but if you do the research about that basically a computer is generating Bitcoin in like a few cents per day which I would say equivalent to virtually nothing if let's say you are gonna add the electricity cost itself you are losing money using your computer to mine Bitcoin so we hear they came uh, in eventually the future in the future itself they came out with this uh, Bitcoin ASIC miner basically is the uh, these devices is basically used to mine Bitcoin that. mine Bitcoin and after that I would say they created this ASIC not only to mine Bitcoin but of course it is to yeah I mean like depending on what kind of ASIC you are buying if let's say you are buying the SHA-256 uh, algorithm miner itself it is only used to basically hash the basically hash this algorithm which is the SHA-256 and if let's say you buy the script miner itself which is the Litecoin miner L7 or whatsoever it is definitely only mining the coins that support script uh, ASIC on the ASIC network and after that I would say over here this is very powerful devices that only does one job and of course it is yes it's a computer but you can't use it to surf your browser or whatsoever so I would say in reality itself these devices you can see this over here 5304 watt basically this is the energy consumption that is needed to basically generate this amount of hash rate which is monstrous with this is super I mean this hash, this hash rate itself is super high but of course the price itself is also super high look at this it's over $19,000 to basically start get started and of course let's say the price of Bitcoin now is dipping and you do you go over to the calculator you plug in the numbers over here 255 tera hash uh, uh, 5,304 watt and after that from there you have to put a uh, cost of this device itself if let's say you are on average itself in the America uh, country or maybe somewhere else which has only your electric cost per kilowatt is 0 0.1 if you plug it in itself yes you might be making money but of course the ROI itself seems impossible because of the current price of Bitcoin which is dipping and dipping and of course there are many uncertainty so I would say people want to dive into async mining itself I would say yes it's a good time because eventually the price of this miner will basically get reduced uh, down the road if let's say we are literally in a sideway bear market and after that I would say yes device will be cheaper but of course to host this itself you have to know it is gonna take up a lot of heat and as of now this device is basically water cooling so there is no fans no sound if let's say you buy the older model which is slightly cheaper it is gonna be freaking noisy so we here the M the Match X itself they are implementing this Bitcoin itself so you can mine Bitcoin literally without all of this hardware and of course not a heavy cost I would say they are only selling the device at around 2100 euros and after the equivalent to i do not know how much we can do a comparison if i'm not wrong it is around so in us dollar itself euro 2100 is equivalent to around 2.2k itself and i would say it's slightly i mean like it's still very cheap compared to all the miners out there there is basically a specifically only mining bitcoin but of course i would say this itself is still in i mean like it's launching so i believe that the beta has been done and after that from there to be honest i'm not in the beta so i do not know how much this device can generate through i mean like mining bitcoin so the catch over here if you want to mine other coins that they are 
um, providing basically they claim to basically mine uh, data and after that polka dot is coming soon and of course bitcoin so the catch is basically if to mine bitcoin itself you will need to own at least 5000 of this mxc token to do a staking so as the price of now itself if let's say if i'm not wrong it's try 5000 or something like that so here is only $300 to basically get an entry to this Bitcoin miner. So on top of that, on the device cost itself, you need to buy some tokens. And of course, you need to plug it, uh, stake it. And after that, you eventually you can mine Bitcoin through this device, which costs around 2.1k. And on top of that, I believe you are still earning the MXC token itself. The staking itself is to, to allocate your miner into this. And after that, I believe that is something to do with the proof of ownership or something like that to stake some token. And after that, eventually you have the ability to mine Bitcoin with this device. How much can you make through it? To be honest, there's no idea. There's no calculator through this. So I'm just going to wait for it to be launched. And after that, do a staking on my own. And after that, do a few dice and update. So basically, I'm going to wait for seven days after plugging in. And after that, from there, accumulate some results and do it on a spreadsheet and let you guys know that how much Bitcoin you can generate. And of course, is it a uh, uh, worth it to do it or not so right now i'm gonna give you some of the thoughts so here the thoughts about this itself if let's say you look at the bit main miner itself it is basically 19,000 plus and after that on top of that i'm just gonna do a round up uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, the number i input is uh, relatively wrong i mean correct it is 18,000 nope we just run it up to 2,000 20,000 for example and after that if let's say you want to look at the numbers over here how does it work Head over here to basically enter the Terra hash, basically the machine offer, and after that the power consumption and of course the electricity cost in your city, and of course the proof fee of one percent, which is I believe is the standard, and the hardware cost over here, and you click on calculate, and over here it's gonna tell you that you're gonna make seven day seven dollars daily after electricity cost after upon paying for it itself. So operating one of these ASIC itself is gonna cost you twelve dollars, but I believe operating one of these match X itself is gonna cost you less than ten cent because it is. I believe inside of this device itself, it is something similar to the Raspberry Pi. So how 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 on earth are you gonna mine Raspberry Pi uh, using Raspberry Pi to mine Bitcoin? So it is basically the software tapping onto the MXC ecosystem, and after that, from there, they are gonna do some exchange or something about that to basically contribute to the mining ecosystem so i do not know how this really gonna work on like how can you mine bitcoin through this uh, what kind of system they're gonna use so i would say over here you can see this device itself you pay 20k you're gonna get around seven dollars in profit after electricity cost if let's say your electricity is free you're getting like around 19 to 20 dollars and of course on top of that you have to look at the price of bitcoin as well if the price of bitcoin keeps tanking down basically your profit will keep tanking down as well but of course the cost will always be fixed over there because it is electricity it is fixed permanent i mean like it is down there and of course it is not volatile like the, the bitcoin price itself so i would say um to be honest if let's say you want to compare like how much can you earn can you be making like ten dollars per day mining this using this to mine itself to generate ten dollars in bitcoin to be honest i don't think it is possible maybe we are looking at like a few dollars or maybe a few cents um to basically be generated to you or basically like they came out with a staking tier if let's say you stake this amount you will be expecting this amount of bitcoin if you stake that amount you'll receive that amount of bitcoin to be honest it is unclear because it is not officially launched yet so two days to the launch if you want to basically secure your device you can buy it and of course for the shipping lead time itself i believe it is within one week or even two weeks depending on the demand of this device so i would say the demand itself might be high might be low to be honest nobody knows because this device itself it is not really taking as much energy as the asic miner and of course i would say for consumption wise i believe this over here would take up uh less than 10 cent or even at most 50 cents of your electricity per day i don't think uh, this device itself is not very uh energy consumption wise if you want to look at it we can look at the specifications so over here they said uh on average itself is 3.5 watt and after that at the peak is around 6 watt so comparing with this itself 5000 over watts compared to something with uh 3.5 to around 6 watt for example i would say it is basically uh, virtually not paying anything for this device to operate itself because it is just too low i mean i mean like the consumption itself is very low and after that there's nothing much to worry about on electricity consumption wise and of course if you want to just use my promo code using the link down below to get a 50 50 euros off and over here there's a lead time so there's a high interest of that so for the us is one week for euro is five to six week and of course uk one week for asia itself what what my country itself i already mentioned from one to two weeks depending on how fast it is 
ship out from their region itself from their warehouse or whatsoever so if you like the video kindly leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification and i'm gonna see you on the next one bye bye peace